This is a massive breeding mill doing business as Molten Chinchilla Ranch. In 2020, a PETA investigator found nearly 1,000 chinchillas kept continuously confined to tiny wire floored cages in a filthy ammonia ridden shed. For more than 50 years, the mill's owner has bred chinchillas for sale, including to laboratories and the pet trade. Most of these social animals were kept caged all alone, deprived of any opportunity to run, jump, burrow, or hide, all of which are important to their health and welfare. This is Charlene. Her foot was severed and she was bleeding, but the breeder provided her with no emergency veterinary care for this excruciatingly painful injury, which left her bones exposed and jeopardized her life. Chelsea was also denied veterinary care for her severely injured eye, which protruded from its socket. This ailing chinchilla was apparently blind and left without care. The eyes of other chinchillas were severely swollen and filled with pus, even sealed shut by the discharge. This is Chloe. Her teeth were severely overgrown, which can cause abscesses and make eating difficult and painful. The owner guessed it would caused her condition, but provided no care whatsoever. She has overgrown teeth. Oh, I know. Oh, uh, I know what that is. Yeah, is there anything we can do for that or? No, you know what she probably did? What's that? She probably fell and fractured her jaw. No one. Uh, Tina's abscessed breast tissue swelled up and eventually burst. The breeder simply sprayed the wound with iodine, which did nothing to alleviate her pain. Clara was also denied adequate care and pain relief for her gaping wounds. The breeder allowed this chinchilla to suffer for weeks from a raw, bloody tail wound before finally dying. This chinchilla had a bulging mass under his chin. The owner killed him by attempting to break his neck. The terribly unnatural, extremely crowded conditions that they were kept in caused the chinchillas to chew on themselves and their cage mates, a sign of severe distress. This chinchilla's ears were nearly chewed off. The mill owner deprived some chinchillas of water for days. These animals drank continuously for more than three minutes when PETA's investigator turned on their water. Metal collars like this one prevented the females from evading the males who were allowed to breed with them over and over again. PETA's investigator rescued Charlene but thousands of chinchillas remain trapped in disgusting, cruel warehouses like Molten Chinchilla Ranch, bound for vile experiments and pet stores across the country and beyond. Please visit PETA.org today to learn how you can help them. Thank you.